Hi and welcome back to another Blu-ray review. This one is for HMV's Premium Collection edition of Them. This came out in 1954. This is number one in the collection and this is a first time watch for me. Something I had never seen before but I have heard of uh, uh, Them. Who hasn't? Giant Ants is kind of synonymous with start a whole slew of imitators that came out with Giant whatever. It's black and white. It is basically about a nuclear testing ground that has been used uh, and caused ants to mutate into giant ants. One of the weirdest things about this is the effects were Oscar nominated. They look kind of funny, they look kind of novel, they don't look realistic at all. So let's just get that out of the way because there's, there's no way you're going to watch this and go, oh wow, it's a real life giant ant. But that kind of adds to the, the nostalgia of the piece. You need to remember this is a movie came out in the 50s. It is 65 years old. It uses them sparingly but kind of effectively but they are kind of like you can see the people almost working them as they come along but what I found most interesting about this is it, that it wasn't the movie that I thought it was going to be. I assumed it was going to be giant ants, people running screaming and in the end they bomb the hell out and blah 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 but it, it came out to be more of a mystery. They discover these giant ants, they kind of keep it secret from the public, they tell the military and then they have to track down where the ants have gone to to try and stop them before it spreads, ultimately decimating the world. And I like that aspect of it, and I wasn't expecting that because a couple of the characters were really good. You've got the obligatory specialist scientist, uh, who's a little bit older over the hall. They've got a daughter, they've got some uh, good army men to come in and just work with them as well to try and solve this mystery. It's interesting to watch them having boardroom talks about this, and there's large periods of times where you don't see any ants, you'll just see people kind of, you know, that kind of, ah, as a shadow looms over them and I kind of like that as well the fact that they weren't going to these money shots too much because like I said just now they don't hold up as well but that's fine I kind of like them it was a little bit tedious in parts but I think that's just a product of its time it didn't hold my attention because I don't think the story was as strong enough nostalgia value I could probably see me throwing this on again just for I don't know, giggles or just having a good watch at it and, and see if I can pick out anything else that I didn't notice the first time. I'd probably give it two and a half out of five the movie itself. I think if you grew up watching this you're going to love it or if you, you watched it when you were a child you're going to love it. For me this is the first time I've watched and I maybe have to give it another rewatch to get the full effect of it. So as for extras on the them set it is pretty light. All they have is a behind the scenes look at the operation of the ants, how they filmed certain scenes. They have another one that's a very short segment as well about um, just filming ants and, and various things like that. It's very quick, it's 10 minutes and that is all it's on. It's pretty much other than that, it's bare bones. They could have had theatrical trailer, they could have had um, a commentary of some sort. It feels very light on the extras for such a premium collection set. Uh, some of the other ones have got lots of extras. This seems kind of bare bones. On an extras front, I'm going to have to give it a half star out of five. It fails miserably. So let's have a look at the packaging. Okay, so here we have the outside package of the. As you can see, it's a very colorful image. It tells you at the bottom here, this city is under martial law until we annihilate them. Kill one, two, take its place. Don't know if that's really appropriate for the movie, but it's a very nice image. It's got all this kind of fire, buildings falling down, some of our lead characters on the run. Um, that's the UK rating PG there, and an ant with a woman and uh, its claws, almost its pincers. Let's have a look inside. So we get this nice case on the outside of it. We get a similar cover on the inside. So again, the backs are very similar. We'll just take that out of the picture just now, focus on this. As we can see, limited on the special features. We've got some nice images on the back. And let's have a look inside. As with most, or, or some of the ones that I've discovered so far on the HMV Premium Collection, it is a plain disc, which I'm not too problematic about. The DVD is usually black. We have a little note about further releases that are coming out. Some nice ones there. And we also have some art cards. We've got this one here which is it's almost like a poster, um, the main poster. I kind of like that image. Then we have another one of the movie as well. It's one of the giant ants attacking. We've got another one which is from later on in the movie as the ants appear from the sewer system. 
spoiler alert, I suppose. And then the final one, showing one of the ants about to attack a woman. As you can see, terrifying stuff and very realistic as well. All in as a package, I really do like the HMV Premium stuff. It's, it's a nice set, it's something that you don't really have to do. The art cards are very nice, it's a little extra. The cover art, although it uses the same image constantly, it is a very striking image that I do like. If you're into this movie, it could be an addition for you. So there we have it. What did you think of that package? Is it something you're going to pick up? Is it something you're not interested in? Would you like to see more of these videos? Let me know in the comment box below what you think I should review next in the Blu-ray front or, or, or if you, you don't like these and you want to stick to the movie reviews, let me know as well. If you like it, hit the like button and if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. I'm Man Bersi's Film.